Many travelers are unhappy with the way airlines have handled the coronavirus crisis. The Department of Transportation received more than 25,000 complaints from passengers in March and April. It usually receives about 1,500 complaints a month. A lack of federal guidelines about how to keep passengers safe is also causing some confusion. Chris Van Cleve talked with two airline CEOs to see what they're doing. Online outrage from flyers as pictures post of seemingly packed flights. A handful a day leaving up to 85% full. And at Charlotte's airport, a steady stream of flyers Wednesday. While the number of daily travelers roughly doubled from a month ago, on average planes are departing with just 31 passengers. Has people's sense of what crowded is changed? Well, I think, you know, there's a lot of confusion if you go back, you know, a month or so before masks were, were required for employees or our, or our passengers, um, social distancing was definitely necessary. Frontier CEO Barry Biffle is in Florida encouraging people to get back to flying. His carrier is blocking 20 seats per flight as part of what he calls a multi-layered approach to safety. That includes electrostatic fogging of planes to kill the virus and requiring masks for all aboard. So how do you make people wear a mask? So we make it very clear when you check in, uh, whether it be online or in person, that you must wear a facial covering of some type. And if you uh, don't have it, we will deny you boarding. What happens if I refuse to wear the mask once I'm on the plane? We'll try to de-escalate it, um, but uh, we do require you to wear a mask. And, and what customers are telling us is they feel safer when everyone's wearing it. So it's not just about you. Unlike other forms of mass transit, modern airliners typically have hospital-grade air filters to strip out virus and bacteria. Fresh air is cycled into the cabin every two to four minutes. But there is no government standard or guidelines for distancing on a plane. It feels a bit like trial by error right now. This is a unique set of events, and I, I would say that we are trying to respond as quickly as we can uh, to uh, something that we've never seen before. And, you know, our priority is to make people uh, feel uh, that flying is safe. Robin Hayes runs JetBlue. His carrier is blocking up to 40% of the seats on its flights. Should there be some standardization? We would welcome that. For example, we believe you're, you're safe if, if everyone wears masks, uh, but there's some inconsistencies with the mask. So it would be great if it was mandated by the government that everyone wear it, just like uh, if you can't smoke on a plane. A group of Senate Democrats has proposed legislation that would require airlines to provide cash refunds to anyone who canceled a flight during the pandemic, even if the ticket was non-refundable. The industry says that will send airlines into bankruptcy. Up next on Valley News Live at 5, free food at McDonald's. What you can get and for how long is next.